Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's session, we are going to review a book by the GPAD Discussion Center. And um, please stay in the session to know com about the complete gist of the book and how can it help you and what are the ratings of the book. So now in today's session, we are going to discuss about the book review. We are going to review a book of GDC that is GPAT at fingertips and Niper at your fingertips. Along with that, we'll be also giving a book review upon GPAT mantra. So I have myself read this book and um, I have gone through the book as well. So the contents of the book of the GPAT at your fingertips are as follows. It consists of subdivided sections of different subjects like major and minor ones. So pharmacology, pharmaceutics, pharmacognosy and medicinal chemistry or pharmaceutical chemistry are the four major sections that are divided. Now pharmaceutics, they are further subdivided into different categories like physical pharmacy, pharmaceutical technology, biopharmaceutics, pharmaceutical engineering, cosmetics, hospital pharmacy and dispensing pharmacy and jurisprudence. While pharmacology is consisting of HAP, pathophysiology and a major pharmacology ones. Pharmacognosy is all of pharmacognosy 1 and 2. Both of them are included along with some parts of herbal drug technology. Pharmaceutical chemistry includes inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry, pharmaceutical analysis that includes your titrations as well as your spectroscopy, chromatographies, etc. And in the minor subjects, they have included biotechnology, biochemistry, microbiology and hospital pharmacy. So these are the minor subjects. Speaking about the content, the content is very, very well organized and the content is very clear and crisp. So how much you need for GPAT, only that much concept is properly written and that much of data is provided. It is in tabular form and um, many of the things are diagrammatically represented. So these colors can attract. Like to be honest, when you give, when you go to give the GPAD examinations, these colors are the ones that, you know, appear in front of your eye that, and you remember, you recollect that, huh, I had studied this somewhere. So that is why this is very important. See how significantly they have given the difference between packaging types arrangement. This is a, this is about the angle of repose, the types of flow. There are so many flow charts in the book. So this book will be a 9.9 .9 out of 10 for sure, because this book has almost everything that you need for GPAT and you do not need to go to different standard books if it's your last moment. Like if you want that ek jaga pe sab kuch mil jai, so this is a book where you can, you do not need to go to Lackman, you do not need to go to the Ross and Wilson, 4A or KD Tripathi or you do not need to go to Kokate. You, this book will be an amalgamation of all such subjects. So that is why I would strongly suggest this book. See the content, how clear it is, suspension, so all the different points, classification, difference between flocculated and deflocculated. So similarly, this was for Sutics. And speaking about the technological part, pre-formulation studies and all, see how well is the data given. Pharmaceutical engineering, all the different equipments, machineries, they are principal, they are well tabulated form. This is about jurisprudence. All the tables are given for the form numbers, for the different dates, for the different acts, DPCO. Pharmacology. Pharmacology is basically, these are the phases of clinical trials. Then they have classified adverse drug reactions. Then they have given classification pharmacology. Wala. And only two, two, three, three pointers are given that are important. Like suppose over here, fixofenidin and terfenidin, they are responsible for torsad dep points. So those are mentioned over here. And the drugs, they are classified into tab a tabulated form and different mechanism of action. So in one table, you can get the classification, the chemical classification, as well as the mechanism of action. So this is a really good book. And uh, this is about the HAP part. So HAP is not much in detail because you do just need some part of G uh, like cranial nerves, spinal nerves and all sympathetic system and parasympathetic system. Speaking about pathophysiology, so cell injury, all those terminologies are well mentioned. Pharmacognosy, in pharmacognosy, all the Ayush system, the uh, Chinese system, the shikamic acid pathway, the tannins, alkaloids, all the secondary metabolites, all the primary metabolites, they are tabulated, see, like this. So the name of the drug is given, the family, the source, the active phytoconstituent and the treatment or the uses, applications. So you can cover it in particular tables and you can finish it. Chemistry point of view, there are the reactions are given, all the name reactions, 
these are the charts in this form in these chart form the entire all alkanes alkenes hydrocarbons phenols are being given so these are the states of matter uh, central nervous system pns medicinal chemistry point of view so sar ka few points the structure ke few points are mentioned and here you can see the different analytical chemistry chromatography electrophoresis spectroscopy and these are the minor subjects so these are dna rna sterilization types of sterilization pharm uh, pharmaceutical storage areas so this overall this book would be a very good book a gpat it would be a companion for you for your end moment preparations or even from the starting point you if you are scared of referring multiple standard books this book would be a better option for you now the next book that we are going to cover is gpat mantra so gpat mantra is basically a book that is consisting of mcqs and it can it has different um mcqs from right from the year 1988 up till 2020 so everything will be covered in this book see over here you can see the uh, previous year question papers so here the mcqs are given the four options and then in the answer part the proper explanation is given so here you can see the answer part is given along with that the explanation is given so from when when you are solving one mcq you are not just solving one mcq you will be solving five to eight other mcqs associated with it so here you can see if the question was asked upon the dyslipidemia associated with insulin so here you will also come to know about the different mechanism of action of other bio, uh, of the other anti diabetic oral hypoglycemic drugs and other adverse effects of insulin resistance and all so here you in the chemistry part they have given the proper reagents along with the product and the reactants and uh, these are the name reactions in analysis point of view the different uh, four types of graphs are there strong acid strong base strong acid weak base those are given so these are the papers that are given and along with that the explanation so if the part is if in the year 2023 it was almost four to five questions upon the schedules so here the schedules are given with explanation the subtypes like over your m1 m2 m3 so overall this gpat mantra book for your solving mcqs so once you're done with your theory your fingertips you can move upon mantra so this would be a good option for you to test your knowledge at how much you have understood and the next one is the niper at your fingertips so those who are uh, done with gpat and are uh, trying to go for niper to chance that to get that chance to go to the niper so in this book the not just your pharmacy point of view the other parts that is the miscellaneous the reasoning aptitude relation english general science current affairs certain miscellaneous topics are very well mentioned so here you can see that the parts are divided into same pharmaceutics pharmacology pharmacognosy pharmaceutical chemistry and further they have subdivided into organic inorganic physical analysis biopharm microbiology biotechnology analysis hap pathophysiology pharmaceutical technology dispensing and hospital pharmacy so here you can see that uh, in this again there are two books theory and one is just the mcq one so the mcq one is similar to gpat one only that the mcqs are quite uh, that niper level ke mcqs and they are quite like you they will give you a feel that you are actually giving a niper examination so here uh, in the beginning the few high highlights of je uh, niper je exam fees are given the different courses offered the different branches of niper the different uh, uh, the different amount of uh, seats that are available for the niper are given niper guwahati raibareli mohali ahmedabad hyderabad the fee structure is properly given over here so syllabus syllabus any before opting for any entrance exam syllabus knowing the syllabus is very important and there are certain things that are ad added extra in uh, niper syllabus so those dichromism circular dichromism analysis so many different uh, things are added so those things are to be known by the students before preparing bio essays and all so these are the this is the syllabus that is mentioned speaking about the theoretical content so here they have given well in flow charts and um, properly the the colors the colors that are, that are used are quite captivating the here they have classified the solubility the dosage forms the different uh, methods of increasing the solubility so overall this book is a complete book 
that can help you to crack Niper and it has extremely important colored some things are so that are important like the types of fossils they are colored so that they can easily come into your eyes and you can remember so while reading the book you you don't get bored it's not becoming monotonous there are different colors that attract you and tabulated data will help you to quickly grasp the knowledge so here you can see dispensing pharmacy cosmetics and all pharmacology these are the different uh, available available structures so overall this book is a um, thumbs up a big thumbs up for all the students and i would give a rating of uh, again a 9.9 .9 out of 10 because this book is bang on so i would suggest you all to recommend this book for your college to for your college to procure it for your library or you can yourself buy this book for your personal use now speaking about the miscellaneous topics it consists of the drug names the recently approval dates the fda approvals etc the top pharmaceutical companies that are available the with the founder and the date because they have been asked in gpat many number of times so here comes the drug the brand name the uses the different companies like dabar offers eno uh, dabar offers hajmo lapudina ram gsk offers eno so these are important and then that important health and days so the important health days are very important like world tuberculosis day world cancer day world health day these are some of the days that are uh, quite like it's, it's simply as that world aids day is celebrated on so you must know that it's celebrated on 1st december next is analogical questions so certain analogies like here skin makes you feel so eyes eyes will obviously provide you vision so that this is what uh, um, analogy that it can data like over here sometimes the codings are also given so here are the mcqs that you can practice and when diagrams when diagrams are quite favorite of the examiners because they and you're the application like if it's a this kind of Venn diagram that means there is one main category and two subcategories if it's this diagram then there are common factors involved in all the three factors so these and then there is synonyms and antonyms of certain words so overall these three books are a big thumbs up for you so if you want to buy these books you can contact uh, to the G uh, gdc numbers and to their website or to their personals and you can buy this book thank you so much for watching today's session